Hey there, Russian fanatics. How the hell is everyone doing? I am doing marvelous, so that is a good thing. Now, before I continue with this video, I want to ask you, Russian fanatics around the world, how do you like the tournament for the vacant W World Heavyweight title? so far yes I know it continues tonight on Smackdown probably most of you know already from the spoilers so please do not tell me who's moving on now I have a beef with the tournament number one no Brock Lesnar no John Cena yes I know that they were not scheduled for the tournament but It'd be great to put some star power. I feel like just like an IC title tournament or a US tournament, you don't go with this. No big names. The w, I know W did this at the last moment, but still, they should make some phone calls and say, Hey Brock, can you make an appearance at this tournament? He knows he's not going to win it, but still, he could kick some ass. He could bring in John Cena, you know? But he's doing his own thing, you know? But they could bring in uh, Dana Bryan, but I know he's not clear, but I'm just dreaming here, you know? Make this tournament mean something, for crying out loud. But that's just my opinion. But overall... I think so far the tournament is good. Now, title Breeze. Title probably botch it, but Breeze, the new guy who's beefing with um what's his face? I can't really uh think of it. Um I can't think of it. You know what I'm saying? He did not have an official match. So why in the hell did they put him in a tournament? Who knows? But maybe it might be a good thing. He's a young guy. He's getting his feet wet in the ring. And maybe one day he'll be the World Health title champion. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's feeling with Dolph. Duh. Okay. I'm going to hit this audio. Then I'm going to continue what the hell they're saying. Then I want your feedback. Your thoughts. So let's do this. Sorry about my damn dog in the background barking like crazy. The WWE Intercontinental Title Tournament is underway. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Well, it certainly looks like that. But the names that are in the WWE Title Tournament, Kalisto, Titus O'Neil, Stardust, and why is Tyler Breeze in this tournament when he hasn't had a match on the main roster yet? Not a knock against those guys. If it was a 32-man tournament, you could justify it. But how do you justify those names being in when you don't have anyone in the New Day in the tournament? You don't have Bray Wyatt in the tournament. No. You didn't even justify why neither Brock Lesnar nor John Cena is in the tournament. Now, in real life, I think we know they are off at this point in time. But you have to justify that on TV when yeah. your best champions of all time are not in this tournament. You just gloss over it. And I think that's going to hurt the credibility of whoever wins this thing. And you're looking to make someone strong, like Roman Reigns, perhaps, who I do have in the final four. On his half of the bracket, I have Roman Reigns going against Alberto Del Rio in one semifinal. On the other half of the bracket, Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose. That's your final four. And I would have Roman Reigns going over Dean Ambrose to win the WWE title. Now, how do you make this somewhat interesting? You did see Triple H come out before the tournament get underway and ask Roman Reigns if he wanted to join the authority and be their man. Obviously, Reigns did say no to that, but could that be coming back into play? Would the authority be the ones at the end to help Roman Reigns defeat his friend Dean Ambrose to solidify a heel turn that I think many of us would like to see? And it would be a call back to the 1998 Deadly Games Tournament where his cousin The Rock became the corporate champion when he defeated Mankind. That would be the interesting swerve. There's something fresh and new for Roman Reigns. 
but even that seems too predictable. How would you book the tournament? Stay tuned this week on the WWE Team Stream because we're going to get hardcore. We're going to bring in a guest to help us book this tournament. So, what's your thoughts on a dude when he says about the tournament? I agree with that. I think it would be a great um, four guys and there's going to be Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and will the um, authorities get involved in the championship match? We'll find out. And if so, maybe Roman Reigns turn heel on his good friend, and it will be the eight of Wu Wabin, and then the eight Sebastian's daily games. If so, that'd be too predictable. Or, it let me rephrase it. I know a lot of people think I, I screw up a lot on videos. But I'm trying my best there. But, um... A lot of people think... And what the guy says... Maybe it'd be Dean Ambrose... Screws... A Roman Reigns. He joins... The authorities. Maybe the authorities will help... Dean Ambrose become the WWE World Heavy title. I mean, World Heavy Champion. Would you like to see that? Or you like to see Roman Reigns turn heel? What's your thoughts? And how would you book this tournament? Will you have all-star power powerhouses? Or do you prefer the tournament as it is? Hmm? I don't know. Or do you think they should put more brackets? You know, make it longer? Because they're going to have... You know, the whole show of Raw um, all about the tournament. Do you think they'd be okay? Or no? What's your thoughts? They have three hours of Raw. They could use all that time for uh, qualify matches to go in the tournament. Or do you think that is too overwhelming? What's your thoughts? And what's your thoughts on this dude what he says about the tournament? And once again, I'm sorry about my dog in the background. There's always distractions. So, that's about it. I'm going to wrap this video up. All my links are down below. And yes, I do have Twitter. So, I'm not going to mention it no further. And I'll see you guys and ladies next wrestling video. Have a good night.